Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We're in North Corbin, Kentucky at the birthplace of the most famous fried chicken. We'll give you a tour of Harlan Sanders Cafe and Museum, which features history on KFC and memorabilia from throughout the years. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. We are in Corbin, Kentucky at the birthplace of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like it says, it all started in Corbin. Look at this. <laughs> They've got a museum and everything and even a spinning bucket of chicken. This is very impressive. This is the location where the famous KFC secret herbs and spices were chosen. Before operating a restaurant, Harlan Sanders ran a gas station, which was across the road from the current cafe. He did sell food at the gas station, which was the catalyst for what we know today as KFC. Looks like there's even a park named after Colonel Sanders nearby. But yeah, look over here. It says, welcome, it all started here. That's pretty neat. And there's gas pumps, because I think when Kentucky Fried Chicken first opened, they had a gas station here too. So let's see, the life of Colonel Sanders. I think we gotta go back further, this is the end. Yeah. Born in 1890. Let's see. He moved to Corbin in 1930. And let's see. He was made a Kentucky Colonel by the governor in 1935. Harlan Sanders Cafe reopened in 1940. There were 400 restaurants in 1960. Colonel Sanders died in 1980. Well, I didn't know he was still alive at that point. I guess that makes sense. Huh, 1990, cafe and museum opens. So yeah, there's a, I think this is a replica of, oh look, it does say Sanders. I guess we gotta look more at the, um, at the timeline of his life to see what this is all about. Okay, so here it is. Sanders Forms Corporation in Nicholasville, Kentucky, where he offers a service station. Harlan Sanders first marketing master stroke, sign advertising free air. Okay, so that's what this is. Here we are. Nicest looking KFC I've ever seen, but this is actually called Sanders Cafe. So you go over here and look, they actually have one of these, you know, kind of historical signs. So that's pretty interesting. Kentucky's most famous citizen. And there's another side. So there you go. There's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Rosie pointed something out to me on, it was Facebook, I think you saw, that someone asked why, like a little girl asked why his uh, body's so small. He's got a big head and it's his bow tie, <laughs> but it does look like he has two legs and two little arms, like a stick figure. <laughs> Went to Harlan Sanders Cafe and Museum, the birthplace of the original recipe. The 11 herbs and spices. So you can sit there and ponder, what are those 11 herbs and spices? Here's the entrance. Let's see, is there anything else around here? I think it's just all building over here. So let's go on inside. Ooh, what's this? So welcome to Corbin. Where are you visiting from? Oh, it's a guest book. Oh, we should do this. If you come, make sure you look for us on the list. Here we go. So there you go, you can actually order. It's just a regular KFC on the inside along with some of these museum pieces. Look, let's see what this is. Red and white striped uniform. This is like the original uniform. That Colonel Sanders. Weather vane. <laughs> this was on, oh wow, it was on KFC stores in the 1960s. Where is he? There's a kind of sitting area. We got some KFC merch for this location. We got pins, that's really cool. Recipe booklet, keychains, a fan. And you can really see the little body on that one. Bucket magnet. <laughs> and there's the bow tie. <laughs> really cool. More socks. Let's see what you got down here. That's cool. 
and here's the actual museum. So I think the Neal family took over for Colonel Sanders, director of franchising. Shame on you. Get in line. And I realized he had missed. He's very special. So fancy. There's a bust of him. And so we kind of started calling those the Thunderation <laughs> letters. Colonel's outfit. And the Colonel would do a few. But the one guy after that, and we, we, we saw that list. Really. It's just a big long list of stuff all about him. Very few, and then none, because no one wanted the Colonel sending one of those letters to them. I had worked for some very important people before the current. Now, I had a professor in college who had been a pastor at a church in Corbin. And his sec like one of his, the members of his church had been the secretary of Colonel Sanders. Or she was at the time, actually, that he was a pastor there. And she told a story about how she basically told Colonel Sanders off because he was not behaving well. Let's just go with that. <laughs> the statue. Rosie, we need to get pictures of him. So here's a model motel room because this KFC had an actual motel attached to it that was operated by KFC. So look, you actually got one of the old school phones where you held it up to your ear and talked into the little mouthpiece. <laughs> here's the bathroom model. <laughs> Attractive restrooms. I wonder if they actually have that Sanders Court and Cafe um, towels. My question is, I wonder if they've ever had to stop anybody from using this restroom that's right here. <laughs> and here, there you go, is the actual room model. Very old school. Seems like something that would be seen in one of your TV shows you like to watch, Rosie, about like kind of the early, <laughs> the early days. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess that is pretty early, yeah. Uh, oh, probably. Yeah. I kind of like how this museum is just interspersed throughout the restaurant. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I wonder if this is like a sample door from back then. Because that's an old school door. Yeah, 1940 site model. That's pretty cool. So there's the hotel. And here's Sanders Cafe. That's cool. There's all sorts of stuff everywhere. Just it's so crazy how this is just interspersed in the restaurant. Wormy chestnut paneling, even the paneling. Huh. There's a callback to the old one. To the old building. Then you come around in here. What is this? I'm guessing this is a sample of the original kitchen from that KFC. And man, so those dishes are really old. <laughs> Might start to smell. They've been around since the 40s. Yeah, original cafe kitchen. And this is the actual location of the original kitchen for the cafe. So we're standing in the actual original kitchen location. <laughs> the original refrigerator door. Hmm. So this, I don't see the refrigerator door, but it says it's the original one. Interesting. See, you can see right through the model. There's the restaurant. I love how this is just interspersed. Rosie looks really intense over there. Looking at that model. She doesn't even know we're filming her right now. I don't know how much they'll need this gutter system indoors. Unless it happens to rain indoors. See, we're inside. There's the hotel. It even has second floor, like, staircase and everything. Well, this is a nice little dining room. I wonder what this is. Watch out, memorabilia. The pressure changed everything. Because that's the special way they, they cook the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> And then the 11 secret, the secret 11 spices. So what, do we have to pick them out of this? Cause this is more than 11. So what's the deal here? 
I just can't see Greek sea salt being one. This seems to be such a new thing. Chia seeds too. Turkey tail? Huh. Pink sea salt, there you go. Maple sugar, but that would make the chicken taste better. The original blend that is the original recipe. Huh, so you could buy the, I, well, that says 2020 packaging, so you can still buy the original. This is probably what the restaurants get, I'm assuming. 1960s packaging. Really the very similar logo to today. Uh, see all those herbs and spices? Imagine you were Harlan Sanders and have all those and more to choose from. Now experiment and tea come up the perfect blend of 11 to make the great flavor of original recipe seasoning. Daunting, isn't it? I've always wondered about this original recipe thing. Like, don't they have to disclose what's in the chicken just in case somebody's allergic to one of these spices? Yeah. Oh, is that the original refrigerator door? Oh no, that's the vault for the secret spices. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And what's this over here? Ah, uh, the original furnishings for the cafe. So this is one of the only remaining tables, chairs, and hutch from the cafe. So these are originals. Looks in great condition. Very good condition. Huh. This looks like the waitresses even wore <laughs> the Colonel Sanders bow tie. Interesting. Don't be a hero, folks. Stay hydrated. Rosie's trying to break in to get the secret recipe. If she gets it, we'll reveal it to you. Did you get the lock right? Oh, it's opening. It's opening. So here we have a more of a bigger room full of memorabilia of the early years. And there's the gas station that he started. Or that he... Colonel Sanders restaurant, pressure cooker. There's the pressure cooker. <laughs> Thing that actually has a this logo on it. And I guess back then you actually got real silverware, real plates. Huh. Adventures in good eating. Ads, I guess, from back then. Marlon Sanders, Sanders for state senator. Really, I didn't know he was a politician as well. History of the bucket. There we go. So these are the different buckets. Can you... Do something with it? Oh, cool. You can spin it around. That's cool. This looks very classic from a time before to help it. And here's an American one with no logo on it. This is the one from kind of the 90s, it seems like, that I remember. It's a more detailed Colonel Sanders. This one has a bunch of names on it for some reason. Let's see why. Oh, it's a one for breast cancer. Let's see. Oh, this is Christmas. This one has the its finger looking good on it. Mom's Day Off, parties, guests. <laughs> and a NASCAR one. Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's a really cool setup. Huh. Huh. Oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken playset. I like that. Oh, and I remember those. The Star Wars Episode One sippers. I think we had we had one of those. I can't remember which one we had. I think it was Yoda, actually. Then, I like the the actual. Picnic basket bucket. Oh, wow, look at all these different ones. She went for Guitar Hero. Oh, well, that's neat. Whatever it is. <laughs> and I know KFC is really big in Japan at Christmas time for some reason. Go Cup. <laughs> it's a nice little container. I remember when these things were all, were so big back in the 90s and you could take them and get them for, like cheaper refills at restaurants. Apparently they did a partnership with Garfield. First franchisee. This is all the different kind of through time a brand grows up.
<laughs> Some of this merchandising is great. This book could be a bestseller. Book on advertising and promotion by Harlan Sanders. Catering. Now there you go. Those are like Crocs with chicken on them. What is crazy? I forgot about their partnerships with Star Wars. Hey Rosie, I found some Crocs for you. Oh, look at all the Star Wars. Yeah. I think it was only episode one that they partnered with them, even though here's some like old school Star Wars from like episode four, five, and six. But then you got little Anakin, Queen Amidala, Flying Bucket Topper. I guess they were <laughs> top the bucket, but they were also like uh, uh, Frisbees. And then I guess KFC has partnered with NASCAR quite a bit. Save a turkey, eat a chicken. The KFC fire log it smells like fried chicken. I've heard of that. I have heard of that. That is crazy. Oh, that sounds kind of gross, though. I wonder what it actually did smell like. Those fancy KFC pens. Let's see if I can zoom in and get a better look at them. Oh, yeah. Fancy KFC pens. And then this kind of features old videos of KFC and old commercials. Some nice lights. And got a Kentucky couch. Or a Kentucky table. Which you're not allowed to sit on the couch, apparently. Or at least not on two sides. Oh, look! Colonel Sanders met Mickey. KFC around the world. It's like I said, it's really big in Japan at Christmas time. I wonder if that's even mentioned. Well, might be Japanese. He's <laughs> dressed as a shrimp. It's weird. Huh. Different restaurants with the same kernel and KFC. Yeah, the restaurants have changed and they look different around the world too. Very interesting. It looks like a house. I like that one. Look at this merchandise. <laughs> Is that KFC Cola? Does it taste like chicken? Oh, these are like first. international Holiday products. Of the full huh. Interesting. <laughs> I want you to know Little chippy versions of him. Put them in first while you get the benefit of the full 400 degrees and hold them for at least 30 seconds oh. before you drop them on the into the that all the spots of KFCs, I guess. I know there's one, you, at least there used to be, and you could see it from the, uh, you could see the pyramids in Egypt from the KFC. I think you can, oh yeah, you could stop it. And then you release, and oh, you gotta press it again. There you go, and it starts spinning again. And that's where we're at, right near there. The big one is. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders is a romance novelist. <laughs> Colonel's Adventure Comics. <laughs> oh, well. These are great. Look, Mario Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders was in. <laughs> A DC comic. Yep, here it is. <laughs> Colonel Core. And I've heard about this the Green Lantern and Colonel Sanders meet up. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I guess these are the people who have played him over the years with actual signed pictures of them. <laughs> And then you could be the colonel. Oh, McIntyre. 
Let's see what we got down here. Push it, put it up here for the bottom, the line the bottom above it. But don't just throw it in there. See if we see three wings, three rivers. It looks appetizing. Oh, there's comics. There's the actual comics. Kernel of two worlds. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Colonel Sanders action figures. Trivial pursuit. If you follow the formula and the procedure <laughs> shown in this film, your success is assured. Fuck up, Mops. Pezzes. Lego Colonel. It looks like Guy Fieri more than Colonel Sanders. This is interesting. Got all these buttons, which are neat. Huh. Kentucky Nuggets. Now it's the popcorn chicken. I like that one. I ate the bones. Boneless chicken. Oh, there's patches. I know. I forgot. We had the Yoda cup. Oh, look at the koala case. I wonder if that's what, I bet that one's from Australia, the koala pen. I want the bucket cover. That is so cool. I think it's like a frisbee. Yeah, yeah. They they partnered with uh, Star Wars during episode one. That's why you see a lot of the like episode one stuff. Yeah, these are cool. Star yeah. Wars stuff. Is it oh, injury free? Cause finger looking good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> or probably for young brands, probably something like they've gone without injuries in the factory or whatever. Oh, they're Pogs. These are the Star Wars Pogs. Oh, that was kind of after Pogs' heyday when those came out, I think. Because that was like 99 when those came out. When that movie came out. Oh, and then the different employee things. Oh, cool. I actually had that Vulpix when I was younger. I loved Vulpix. They've actually got matches. The Colonel skiing. And a little Lego KFC down there. With that Guy Fieri Colonel Sanders. And their seal. That's property for us. Seal the Pokemon. What are these? Oh, these, cool. these are cool. The little cup and the chicken. And these are earrings. Would you wear buckets of chicken earrings, Rosie? And what are those? Marbles, I guess? Oh, like a little stress reliever toy, the KFC chicken. That's really cool. Now Rosie's gonna hold a intense interview with the Colonel himself. Do you have any questions to ask him, Rosie? No? Not even about his history? Rosie, you won't make a good reporter if you can't ask him questions. <laughs> Surprisingly, the motel room displays in the museum are not a new concept. Colonel Sanders actually had models for the motel in the restaurant back in 1940 as a form of advertising for the Sanders Motel, according to Wikipedia. This is on the National Register of Historic Places. The current iteration of the museum and cafe opened in 1990, which was also when it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What are your favorite memories involving Kentucky Fried Chicken? Let us know in the comments. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your chicken chopping friends, subscribe so that you don't miss future adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.